Hello, folks. Um, I'm Richard from the MakeCode team. And I'm Joey from the MakeCode team. And we're going to be doing another tile map video. So you might remember that a while ago we did a tile map video on YouTube for how to do tile maps with our old editor. But now that Arcade has been released for general availability, we've redone the tile map editor. Um, and so today we're just going to be making a really simple game um, with the new tile map editor to show uh, kind of how everything works. So um, I've already loaded up the game here, and you can see it on my screen. Um, I'm controlling this dog, and this game is just really simple. We're just going to have a tile map. It's got walls that I can't go through, um, and then when I get to the end, to the treasure test, and hit it, it says I win. That's it. Seems good. So um, the concepts that we're kind of going over today are, um, first, just making a tile map. Um, second, we're going to be adding walls to that tile map. And then third, we're going to be dealing with an overlap event. So when this sprite overlaps with this tile here. All right, let's get started. Yeah. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is drag a set tile map block out of the scene category onto the workspace. Mm -hmm. So that's underneath the tiles subheading. And I'll just drag that out and put it into the on start block. Mm -hmm. um, so to open up the tile map editor, I'm going to click on this gray block here and just like the sprite editor it's going to pop up and fill the screen. Mm -hmm. So um, I've already defined this tile map and I've got it off to the side but I'm not going to show you guys that and I'm just going to recreate it real quick while talking about a few features. Um, while I'm drawing stuff Joey do you want to kind of go over some of the things that I'm doing? Yeah so currently we have the pencil tool selected that's the same as it is in the image editor uh, and you can see on the left there's a gallery it's kind of like how you have it in the image editor uh, we changed the dungeon tile set, that's one of the built-in ones that are available, uh, so that you can make your own games without spending hours and hours drawing your graphics to start. Uh, and we're just laying out the first room that we're going to be in. Uh, this is the same one that you saw in the game. Uh, you can see that we're drawing a bunch of walls right now. Uh, eventually we'll move on to making it so that you can not go through those walls. Yep, so right now you can see I'm putting walls onto the canvas, but these walls actually don't have the property of being a wall yet in the actual game. Um, so right now, if I were to load this tile map, I would be able to walk straight through these. Um, and we'll go over in a sec how to make it so that your players can't do that. All right, and now that I've finished making my tile map, um, I'm going to go ahead and click the Done button. It's in the bottom right here, which is covered up by our video right now. Mm -hmm. But trust this is there, it's green, it says Done on it. Okay, so now that we've closed this editor, you'll see my tile map shows up right here on the left in the simulator. Um, of course, this isn't much of a game yet. It's kind of just serving as background decoration. Mm -hmm. um, and real quick, let's go ahead and add a sprite to our game. Um, so I'm gonna drag out the Set My Sprite block and set it on here. Um, and I'll just choose one of the built-in uh, images. Do you have a preference? Mm, I like the monkey. All right, let's do the monkey. Also pressing the done button here, that is yep. also hidden by this. So just like um, in most of our games, we're gonna drag out this move my sprite block from the controller category. This will let us control our sprite with the arrow keys. So um, there are two problems right now with this tile map. The first one is um, I can walk through the walls which is something we mentioned before. And then also, um, the camera isn't following my sprite. So if you remember, there's more tile map underneath where the screen ends, but right now it's just following the monkey. So uh, it's not following the monkey. Um, so the next block that we're gonna drag out to fix that is um, the camera. So we'll fix the walls in a second, but first we're gonna make it so that the camera follows our sprite. Mm -hmm. Now as the monkey moves around, the camera goes too. Um, you'll see that if I move left and right, the camera won't move, and that's because these are the edges of my tile map. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is great, but I can still walk through the walls. Um, let's go ahead back into the tile map editor real quick, and we'll draw the walls onto our canvas. So this button over here to the right of the selected tile is what we call the wall editor. And when I click that, mm -hmm. these um, I will now be able to paint the walls onto my canvas. Mm -hmm. So that's what this red overlay is. Everywhere that has a red overlay is a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, made a little mistake there, but we're just gonna fill in all the white space anyway. So mm -hmm. we'll just leave it for now. You won't ever be able to get to that area anyway. True. All right, so now I have defined everything that is not a floor tile to be a wall. Mm -hmm. And I can click this toggle walls button to show what is walls and what isn't. Mm -hmm. um, but now that this is all good, um, we're going to do one other thing that I forgot to do the first time around, which is put in our chest, which is going to be the goal of our game. 
So I'll go, it's, that's also in the dungeons category. And I'm just going to put the chest right down here in the bottom room. All right, so let's try our game out again. Now see that I can walk around, but I cannot move through the walls. I can go to the chest, but nothing happens right now. All right, so we're now 90% towards the game that we wanted to make. Um, the last block that we need is going to be underneath the scene category. Um, so everything that has to do with tile maps is underneath this category. And under the tiles subheading again, you'll see an on sprite of kind overlaps blank at location block. Mm -hmm. So um, do you want to explain a little bit about what these parameters do? Yeah. So this one behaves kind of like if you have a sprite overlap event in that it will handle behaviors where one sprite is touching another thing. Uh, so we have on sprite of kind player that says on a sprite that we'll get access to that is a player sprite. If you look up at the set my sprite two, you'll see sprite of kind player. So when we created it, we said it's a player. And then when it overlaps, we have a little empty thing there. If we click on that one, it'll give us a list of all the tiles that we've used. Yep, so these are all of the tiles that we've used so far. So there's a lot more tiles in the, in the um, gallery, but only the ones that we've actually used in our tile map will show up here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll go ahead and select the treasure chest. Yeah. And the location is just the location of the thing that got hit. Uh, we won't use that in this case, but you can use it later on to like turn that tile into another chest or something like that. All right. So one more block. Um, so this will run whatever code we put inside it when we um, over when the player overlaps this chest tile. Mm -hmm. So um, to end our game, I'm just going to go ahead and drag over game over win. Mm -hmm. So now when I move the monkey down, I touch the tile. We've won. Yeah. All right, and so that's all um, we've got for this video. We'll be putting the, a link to this game um, in the description, and uh, we'll be trying to do a part two where we do a little bit more with this tile map, so keep your eyes open for that.